Hey, John McLaughlin Superstars, it's Mrs. Flynn here again for another lesson, and Mrs. Colsey. There she is. Thank you, Mrs. Colsey. And so we're going to talk about, this is a whole school-wide lesson, we're going to talk about the zones of regulation. And some of you who have already had my classes know what the zones of regulation are, but for those of you who do not know, we're going to go over it fairly quickly, and then we're going to do an activity. So we're talking about the zones of regulation. And when you look at the word, the zones, you notice there's a blue Z, a green O, a yellow N, a red E, and then of course they're adding the S on there in black, right? And you wonder how, I wonder why those white so colorful. Is it just there to be colorful? Well, there's a purpose those colors are there for. So we're gonna talk about the different zones. And the zones have to do with your feelings and how you feel. And I, remember, I want to remind you that all feelings are okay. Even when you're really, really mad, it's still okay. It's how you handle those feelings that we really need to learn about. And I also want you to recognize what feelings you may have like right now. Right now, hmm, my feelings are, I'm a little nervous because I'm recording a video. Um, and I'm a little sad because I don't have students here to listen to my lesson. Um, other than through Zoom, and let me see, and sometimes I just get a little bit of fr frustrated, see, frustrated trying to figure out what I'm doing, but those are all feelings, and I'm not just having one feeling at a time, I could have two feelings at a time, or maybe three feelings at a time, right? So we're going to talk about those feelings, so that you remember to think about, how am I feeling? If you're in the blue zone, and here's my blue zone poster, the blue zone is where you might feel sick. Maybe you got a cold, maybe you're not feeling so well, right? Uh, maybe you're shy, like right now, this is really hard for me. I'm feeling kind of shy because there's no one really to talk to other than Mrs. Colsey's back there. Thank you, Mrs. Colsey. Uh, maybe you're sad, maybe something happened in your life to where you just don't feel happy today and that's okay. Uh, maybe you're tired. Oh, I was definitely tired this morning. We're filming here right now on a Monday morning and it was hard for me to get up. Um, depressed. Depressed is a little bit bigger than sad. Depressed might last a little bit longer. And so you might feel kind of depressed, maybe about um, the COVID right now, or maybe about the wildfires. Maybe there's something you're just depressed over, you know, and that's okay too, because we all have those feelings. Maybe you're bored. Maybe you get on the Zoom meetings and go, oh my gosh, this is so boring, right? That's a normal feeling, but remember, it's how we handle it that's important. You might feel hurt. Maybe somebody hurt your feelings or somebody hurt you on your body, right? That's a feeling. Exhausted. Exhausted is a little bit more than tired. That's why it's a crossover here. Exhausted is like you can hardly get out of bed, right? So those are all the blue feelings, and I'm sure you've all had at least one or two of these, right? There you go. We're going to put blue there. The next one, see the circle? It's the green zone. The green zone has a lot of feelings. Some of the feelings are proud. Maybe your teacher said, good job getting on Zoom today. So you're feeling pretty proud. Uh, you're ready to learn. And I can tell when I watch the Zoom meetings who's ready to learn because you're sitting right up, right? You might be wiggling around a little bit, that's okay, but you're still paying attention, right? Uh, you're calm, relaxed, happy, appreciated. People just love you and love what you do. Uh, your focus, like right now, I am really paying attention to what's going on. Nothing over here is going to distract me because I am focused. Uh, you might be showing us you're a good listener. You're thankful, thankful for all those wonderful things in your life, right? You're good, you're content, and you're okay. So those are the green zone feelings. Then we have the yellow. Now, do you see the shape of the yellow? Yeah, it's like a yield sign. So when you have the feelings in the yellow zone, you might be going, uh-oh, I'm starting to feel kind of upset, right? And so you got to yield like a yellow light or a yellow yield sign, like watch out, something else might be coming, I better really think about what I'm doing here. And so you might be acting a little overly silly, like sometimes when you're on Zoom and you see yourself and you think, oh, my friends can see me, so I start making weird faces and bobbling my head around, right? So you might be in the yellow zone. Yeah, because you have to think about how others might feel when you're doing that. Uh, maybe you're nervous, like I'm a little nervous and I talk a lot faster when I'm nervous. So I have to breathe and slow her down, right? You might be uncomfortable. I remember when I was a kid, I had this sweater my mom wanted me to wear because she just loved that sweater, but it was itchy and it made me feel uncomfortable and I couldn't sit still. 
Maybe you're scared of something. Maybe you're upset or annoyed, right? Maybe you're embarrassed, yeah? Excited, frustrated about something, overwhelmed, like this is all too much, I can't take it, right? That's the yellow zone. Confused, like, well, I don't understand what my teacher's asking or I don't understand what my parents are asking me to do. So you're confused. Anxious and worried. Maybe you're grouchy and crabby, right? Maybe you're jealous, jealous of a friend, right? And so that's the yellow zone. There's a lot of feelings there. And remember, you could be in the green zone and the yellow zone. But when you get to the yellow zone, remember that's a warning because the next zone is the red zone. In the red zone, you're not just scared, you might be terrified. That's a step up from scared. You might be yelling at people, right? Because you're in the red zone, you're out of control, right? Might be just plain old mad, right? Elated. Kids ask me all the time, why is elated? He's smiling, right? Well, elated might be like, you are so excited you can't control your body, and that might be in the red zone. Like, let's say, let's say your mom and dad surprise you and say, guess what? You're going to Disneyland tonight on an airplane. And you're so excited that you just can't sit still. You start jumping up and down, and you're so excited that you start to get louder and you start to yell and you can't stay focused. That's elated. Maybe you're aggressive. Maybe aggressive means that you get so mad that your body wants to act out and maybe hit someone or kick someone, right? Maybe, maybe you're just angry, right? And you're getting in the red zone like a volcano ready to explode. Maybe you're mean. Maybe somebody made you mad so you're going to be mean. And remember, it's always okay to be mad, but it's not okay to be mean to people. So that's the red zone, okay? And what I have here, in each room in our building, we have an area with your zone. So you can always think about when you walk in in the morning and throughout your whole day, hmm, where am I at right now? Mrs. Flynn, I would say right now, I'm ready to learn. I'm ready to learn how to bring you this information with a Zoom video, right? So once we understood exactly how we feel about that that's just the first step which is good because getting to know how you feel and that you're an important enough person to always think about how you feel and that brings us to the next thing size of the problem so remember the size of your reaction and a reaction is what you do with your feelings right has to match the size of the problem so how big do others see the problem or how big should your reaction be? So I know when you're a little kid, like maybe three, four, five, and you get an ice cream cone and you're so excited about that ice cream cone and you just can't wait to lick that first lick and all of a sudden the ice cream falls right off the cone onto the ground. <gasps> a lot of little kids, they haven't learned about their emotions yet and so they might scream and holler my ice cream cone, Wah! And you know what, to them, that seems like a big problem because they're little, right? But as you get older, hmm, that problem might shrink down to, no, eh, it's a little problem, right? You either realize, you know, I dropped my ice cream cone. Maybe mom and dad might get you another one, right? You don't know. Maybe you don't get another one, but you're able to calm yourself down because you're older and you can think better, right? So it might just be a two, or maybe for some of you, it might be a tiny problem like, ah, I'll get ice cream again sometimes. Right? So you have to think of the size of the problem, right? If you're frustrated with math or writing or reading or any of those things, you have to think about what the size of the problem is, right? Let's think, where does that fit in? How do I feel? And if you start getting to a medium or a big problem or a huge problem, then you're gonna have to think about some skills that you can use to help yourself. So don't forget about that part of it. And I also have Another way to look at the zones, too, is I got this little weather chart, which is kind of fun. Because the colors work really well, but we can also relate it to weather. If you, Mrs. Colsey, if I put my little arrow there and I put it to sunny, what, kind of, what color zone do you think that would be? Ooh, I think it could be the green zone. Just happy, sunny days. Oh, yeah, so the green zone, Mrs. Colsey, and I agree, you're sunny and happy, you're pretty calm, right? Let's say maybe you are, it's kind of cloudy, 
kind of cloudy. What zone do you think you'd be in? Uh, you might be getting closer to the blue zone if it's a little cloudy. Sometimes you just feel like a little down when it's yeah. sun's not out. Yeah. So we can relate it to weather. What if it's really stormy outside? Ooh, I know some storms make me a little scared. I might be yellow, maybe even you might be in the red zone if you're really scared of yeah. some lightning. Because sometimes we kind of go in between here, back and forth, right? Yeah, we can do that, yeah. So that's kind of another way to look at it with weather. So I'm gonna hang that right here, okay? Now, we're gonna talk about also when you are in one of these zones, what can you do about it? And we have this, this calming toolbox right here. And there's all these different ideas in here that when you are in the yellow, the red, even the blue zone, you have some ideas in this toolbox that you can use. And so we're gonna play a little game. We're gonna get set up and we'll be right back. Hey, superstars, welcome back. We are now talking still about the zones of regulation. And Mrs. Colsey, everybody, hey, <laughs> Mrs. Colsey, yeah. So, Mrs. Colsey, I have, how many hula hoops do I have here? I see four hula hoops. You see four. Do you think they match up with the colors of the zones? I think they just might. Okay, so I'm going to hand you a color hula hoop, and I want you to tell me what zone it is. Blue zone. Very good. I like how she puts her face in there. <laughs> what zone is that? Green zone. Green zone. What do you think the next zone is? I'm going to guess. Yellow zone. Yellow zone. Very red good. Zone. And our last zone? The red, red zone. zone. And again, Mrs. Colsey, all these zones are okay, right? Absolutely. If I'm in the red zone, am I a bad person? Not at all. Absolutely not. No. If I'm in the yellow zone, am I a bad person? No. No. All the zones are feelings. And you know what? Every feeling's okay. Yes. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to play a little game. And Mrs. Colsey helped me. I had a twister game where part of the game was so well loved that I had to kind of recycle it. Um, but I saved the board because I thought, oh my gosh, those are the same colors that are in the zone. So I recycled this so we can play a game. So here's how the game goes. Are you ready, Mrs. Colsey? Ready. I'm going to spin the spinner and it's going to land on a color. And then she's going to tell me which zone she's going to go to and she's going to go there. But the trick is, you have to go there with maybe your left foot in the hoop, right? Maybe your right hand, <laughs> maybe your left hand, and maybe your right foot. Yeah, so you have to kind of think here, right? So, and then once we spin it, then I'm gonna ask her to go to her calming toolbox that we talked about before, and she's gonna draw out a little paper and read what the calming tool could be for you. And all of these calming tools might not be things that you wanna do or can do, but maybe there is something in there that you could use, right? Because learning how to calm yourself down is super important, okay? Are you ready? I'm ready. Here we go. Spinning, 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 spinning. Ooh, red zone. Go to the red zone with your right foot. Okay. Put your right foot in there. I'm going to go over here. Oh, she's very good. Right foot in the red zone. Tell me about the red zone. What kind of feelings could you have in the red zone? Red zone are some big feelings. So what about here? I'll even hand that to you while oh. you're standing there. There we go. Tell us some. Give me three. Um, yelling. Yelling. Mean. Mean. And aggressive. Aggressive. Yeah. yeah. We don't want any kitten going on, right? Mm -hmm. So that is the red zone. And we might all get there and feel that way, right? I really appreciate the people who feel like they want to hit somebody and then they stop. And they might use their toolbox. So would you like to draw something out of the toolbox? Would. See if that might help. Oh, I like this one. Oh. Six sides of breathing. Oh, yes. Do you want to kind of show them how to do that, Mrs. Colsey? I think they might need your help because oh, I, know, help, yeah. I know a few different breathing exercises. We know the Lazy Eight, right? It's in yeah. our peace place. And we know Yeah, six-sided. Breathing. Yeah, so this one's kind of like an octagon, but it's not an octagon because that would be an eight-sided. Yeah, hexagon. Hexagon, yes. very good. <laughs> so we're going to do hexagon breathing, right? So six-sided breathing. So you're going to start at your top. Okay. Okay, and you're going to breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. So that's 
six sides breathing, right? And you can do it a little slower too. You don't have to do it as fast as we're doing it. Everybody goes at their own pace, but it's always good to get some oxygen in there and hold it for a little bit and breathe out. It actually makes my shoulders feel better too. It makes my mind slow down a little bit too. Good example, I like that. And that's what we need when we're mad. We need to, that's why that's a stop sign because we want to stop with wanting to be aggressive or hitting or yelling, and we really want to calm down our brains. Let's try another one in that area. Maybe okay. there's another one. Let's see what else Mrs. Colson's gonna pull out. Oh, I love this one too. Animal walks. Oh, so if you had a puppy at home or a hamster, yes. right? Or well, you really can't walk cats too well, but you could pet them, right? I have seen cats on leashes. Have you? Oh my, I wonder how that cat likes that. Do you think the cat might be in the yellow zone? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe, we don't know. So that's another example of red zone. Okay, you ready? We're gonna try it again, here we okay. go. Whoops, you stayed, we're dancing, we're dancing. Okay, here we go. Gonna spin again. What are we getting? Oh, right hand green. In the green. Yes, she's going over the right hand in the green. Awesome, there she goes. Okay. okay, so tell me a couple of the feelings in the green zone. Ooh, when I'm feeling like being a really good listener, that's one. Content, that's kind of a fun word. That is a good word. It just means I'm kind of at peace. Yeah. Too. Yeah. That's perfect. So do we need, do we need any calming tools? Usually feeling Nothing. pretty calm already when I'm yeah. in the green. Yeah, you're ready to go. That's like it's like a green light. I am good to go. It's green. Perfect. Okay, let's do another one. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, she's ready. I can tell because I can see her and she's saying I'm ready. She's using her words. She nods her head. Ooh, left foot blue zone. I'm right here. You're right there. Okay, what do we have here? Here's some of the feelings Ooh, lots there. Lots of feelings. Shy. Shy. And tired. Maybe bored. Have you ever been shy, Mrs. Colsey? Very. Yeah. Do you yeah. remember a time where you felt shy and what it felt like? You know, I just don't like speaking in front of groups. So Round of it makes me you. feel a little bit shy. Yeah. So like even right now, I'm actually a little bit shy about being on the video, even yeah. though I'm happy to, yeah. to So be she's, she's green playing and she's a game. Blue. Yeah. Yeah. So thank you. Thank you for sharing that. Because sometimes those personal feelings are hard, right? So you might, you could definitely use a calming tool maybe here. Maybe you're feeling really shy and you don't yeah. want to speak up. Let's see. Let's see if there's it? something in there. <laughs> Does that one? Oh! <laughs> Tickle. <laughs> that Tickle the bottom of your up. foot. Yeah. yeah. That might make you <laughs> stop thinking about being shy. That's for sure. Let's see if there's another one in there too. It could be distracting <laughs> and actually distracting is can help take your mind off well, things being shy, yeah. yeah oh and here's that lazy eight breathing Ooh. we talked about shall we do that one yeah i know a lot of our superstars yeah. know about this breathing exercise yeah. because we do it are you ready breathe in hold it breathe out let's do it again breathe in hold it breathe out Yes, I do this one, Mrs. Colsey, when I'm in the car and I'm a little bit anxious because the traffic's not moving and I gotta get maybe to the airport or something and I'm getting my heart rate's going up and I'm feeling frustrated, I go, whew. Matter of fact, other drivers around might see, might see me doing this. And you know what, that's okay. Hopefully when you're at a stop sign though. Yes, at a stop <laughs> sign and I'm stopped in traffic, you betcha. Thank you for those safety <laughs> rules, yeah. Definitely, because you know what? You don't want to close your eyes while you're driving. Not, not a good thing to do. You don't want to be distracted. Okay, hey, you want to switch jobs? Okay. Here we go. I'll, I'll leave the toolbox right here. Oh, perfect. Okay. What am I gonna get? You got right hand in the yellow. Oh, right here, yellow, we haven't done yellow yet. No. So here's the yellow zone, and there's the right hand. Ooh, that one has a lot. I'm gonna grab this real quick. I'm gonna hold that up. It could be jealous. It could be uncomfortable. Uh, you could be upset or annoyed. Oh my gosh, embarrassed. Overwhelmed, I've been feeling overwhelmed lately. How many of you felt overwhelmed? I have, yeah. yeah. So I could feel overwhelmed. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know what? I know I'm getting close to here. So I'm 
I'm yielding and going, whoa, I gotta slow down because I don't want to get in the red zone, right? I mean, it happens. So I'm gonna try to stop myself with some calming tools. So you know what, let me see. Oh, if I have the opportunity to swing when I'm in the yellow zone, that's a good feeling. I kind of whoosh. You know, it makes you feel good. Woo! And it kind of distracts your mind again, too, right? Movement is a great thing for people who may be in the yellow zone, especially swinging. I haven't got to swing for a long time. Awesome. Okay, here we go. All right. Ready? I think Santa is right foot in the blue. Right foot in the blue. Right, right on. foot in the blue, blue zone. Okay, ooh, that could be sick or tired or depressed. And you know what, I'm gonna go with depressed right now. Because you know what, with, the, with us having to not be in school, right? And we're at home, and not that we don't love home, right? But we miss our friends, we miss our teachers, we miss that consistent type of, you know, expectation every day of school, doing this, doing that, right? All those situations. You can get depressed. I mean, not just sad. You could be sad when it started out. But then when you know it's going to last a little longer, you might become depressed. You might feel like you have no energy, right? And of course, if you feel like that for a really, really long time, then make sure you ask mom and dad to maybe, maybe go to the doctor and they can help you too. But if you're getting depressed, maybe there's a couple calming tools we can try before that. So let me see. Let me see. Ooh, squishes. So squishes means that maybe the pressure, like you lay and you put all your stuffed animals on top of you, right? Or you put a heavy blanket on top of you. Some of you might have a weighted blanket. Those are awesome, right? You could kind of do that. I used to call it, with my kids, I used to call it kind of squishies, but we'd make like a sandwich, right? And I'd put a pillow on the bottom and they'd lay in there and put another pillow. And it, it kind of just calms you, that pressure. Pressure is good for your body, especially to calm you down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, should we do one more? right up here yeah oh and the green is great because there's so many here ready to learn feeling proud most people want to stay in the green but you know what that's not always going to happen we're people right your kids we're going to have lots of feelings because we were made to have lots of feelings but we were also made to problem solve with those feelings especially when they're hard feelings but i'm going to go with appreciated i know when people appreciate me and they tell me, hey, you know what, Mrs. Flynn, um, you're a nice person. You know what, I know you're trying to be a great person. I, it makes me feel appreciated, mm -hmm. you know? And, and I'm gonna ask Mrs. Colsey, because I appreciate Mrs. Colsey during this time. She's really helped me with so many things. I'm glad that she's my assistant to counseling. Um, she's awesome. And how does that make you feel? Oh my gosh, that fills my bucket. Yeah. Absolutely. Good. I feel appreciated. Yeah. Thank you. So I don't think we need any calming tools for that. So. Unless you just want to go out and swing if you have a swing set. <laughs> That'd be fun too. So, so anyways, we hope that you understand a little bit more about the zones of regulation. If you have any questions, you can always contact Mrs. Flynn or Mrs. Colsey through our email. Um, yeah, and so when you get back, when we eventually get back to our classrooms, this is going to be a lesson we'll do at the beginning of every school year to make sure that you understand these things because it's so important that you understand how you feel and what your plan is next about if it's a big feeling, these big feelings, or if it's a sad blue zone feeling, that you help yourself, okay? That you understand your emotion and you have a plan on how to help yourself. So until next time, oh wait, we have to we do that. Are. Yes, where are they? <laughs> Here they are, Mrs. Colsey. Here we go, we each get, whoa, almost threw a baby one in there. All right. Okay. Every lesson, we're going to try to see if we can touch the screen. You go ahead. You go ahead. Okay. Here we go. Oh, nice try. Oh, close, but so close. Oh, nicely oh. done. High five. Whoops. Okay, here we go. Oh, too far to the right. Oh, oh, oh nice and done. Steel. I'm going to try underhand. We'll oh. see how that goes. Oh, it hit the that was awesome. Good job. Until we see you next time. See you later.